we've got a theme for finals, which is, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say, it's, it's, it's Oppenheimer. So it's a little bit about just how much work goes into something. And in the movie Oppenheimer, it was to go into the atomic bomb that ended World War II. We've been at this task for a good period of time, four or five years. I'm, I'm not just talking this year, we've been talking about the way we've had to work on this team and the way we play our football now over a four or five year period and that's exactly what we've tried to do and that's kind of what we've talked around. I haven't seen the movie myself so it's not that big a theme for us. Fascinating <laughs> is a word for it. The theme uh, that Ken Hinckley admitted he hadn't actually seen the movie behind. It doesn't really matter when you win, Cornsey. When you lose, it just seemed to take on a new, new level of, of meaning. I think. Yeah, it got big on them, and they'd be disappointed that Ryan Byrne went public with that. That's one of those ones where you'd love to keep in-house, and then was it the right thing... Couldn't even pronounce his name properly. ...to, to fit, and then for, for Ken to have not seen the movie, and then for the news journos to ruck up on Friday at the airport and ask some challenging questions. I thought it was a distraction for them. You're right, one that you don't speak about if they win, but not ideal in the lead-up to that game. They've got some other issues as well, and that's their key players who are in poor form and were exposed. We saw their record before. Dersmer, at least he tries. He gives effort, but he was um, didn't have a great performance, and he, he wasn't alone. So some of these efforts here, just to take a bounce there, was, was the wrong move. A couple of aerial efforts that he'd love to have back. And you get exposed in finals and we saw him fumble a couple of times, Drew the same. But the one I'm really disappointed in is Jeremy Finlayson, and I have been for a number of weeks now. There's his drop-off in form, was in great form. They need their big players because there's not much behind them and there's no depth. And body language like this, as we've spoken about on this program before, isn't good enough. Todd Marshall is under pressure, he's missed an easy shot, and he's got Jeremy Finlayson hanging around the back for a cheap shot at goal. He's got to be better, and he'll be lucky if he's in the side this week. Trevor spoke, Kane. I feel like uh, the sub is like a Ginevan type, where you, someone's going to come on and just can do something special for you. I feel like if Boak's not in the 18 or the 22, is he the wrong type to be the sub? So you've got Wines, who's not playing that well. You've got Willem Drew, who's already a run-with type. Not sure if Boak is the right type when you've got Evans, an Evans type, who can come on and kick And goals. I think that's fair. Yeah. I think that's fair. They'll have to question, is that the type of player we want to sub? Playing on the wing where it can be a little bit lonely if the ball's not coming out there. At his age, he's another one that is not in great form and, and they've got a decision to make if they haven't made it already about whether he goes on next year or not. Oh, I think they've made that decision, haven't they? I would have, th I would have thought so. I'm yeah. not sure Travis has fully come to that conclusion yet that this will be his last year. The so, team, he, so he wants to go on and they don't want him to go on? I believe so. Okay. The team that beat them was the Brisbane Lions and they've been building and they're playing the best footy they've ever played under Chris Fagan. Here was Chris speaking about what they've learnt over the years. You know, all those, all those experiences I talked about the other day, that they just they just harden you. And I reckon the, the thing I love about this group, and I've, I've loved it from the day I started here, was that they embraced failure in a positive sort of a way. I've always felt we've been gradually getting better, and I sense this year that we've taken another little step. I don't know whether it's a big enough step for us to go the whole way, but we're certainly better equipped to do that and to take the opportunity if it presents itself. They've got the ideal build. You knock on the door, you knock on the door. They've been knocking on the door for three or four years, so they're just about ready. He seems calmer, doesn't he? He does. And so do the team. He seems in a good space. Yeah.